if you are owing more than two, three years, we need to write to you. The branches you identify them will write to you that we're going to withdraw your certificate unless you pay certain amounts. And if you don't do that, even if you are the accountant general, whatever you are, we will certainly write that you are no longer. And by statutory recommendations, statutory acts, it means that if you don't have that, you cannot rise above level 13. And what that is the case is that you cannot even be an accountant general. You cannot even be a director of finance. So I think the paper should also look into that as we proceed. Well, we don't need to antagonize those who are already at the top as our members. We need to encourage them. But after several, uh, I mean, uh, shuttle between us and them, and they refuse to heed, then we have a right to write in, first and foremost, a letter of warning to them. And finally, if necessary, inform their, I'm sure they will respond. And they will now know that, that because the concept certificates, and when they acquire this certificate, they owe us no responsibility. And I think, bless that. Then there's also the issue of segmentation. And that is what has also pulled some of our members apart. Those who are 70 years in my community, what I think the paper should have also touched on, should be given waivers. And outside that, those who are above 60 years, and of course, your number is within the first 2,000. I also think you should be given some waiver, perhaps 50% of the payment. Because actually, I'm glad and I'm happy to say that this association is more than 30,000. But those who laid the foundation, those who sweated to ensure that today we have an association, are actually those who, whose number falls between the first 2,000. They were those that paid the price. They worked so hard. And some of them are already old. Some, even if not retired, are dead. So, again, we also need to look at this. And we also need to members of ESCO. Because becoming a member of ESCO bestows on that person's shoulders more responsibilities. I think we also need to look at these things. Having said that, I raise my case so that we can have to go for more questions. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here now for question and answer. I'm going to uh, please, we are well educated individuals by being members of this association. If you have any three, uh, what a man can do. <laughs> okay, that's all. Right. But the woman cannot be a husband, can she? It can be a wife. Sorry, that's a letter. So let's start with the first question here, sir. The man presenter, sir. Please take notes. Prof, sir. Professor Koye, sir. It's a man who asks this question. Give him my can you give him the mic, sir? Where is the... Yes, do that for us. My name is... Just go ahead. Let me start on the system protocol. My name is Abu Dhabi Shahidullah from the State Branch Chairman. Uh, it's not a real question that I have, but it, 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 it suggests uh, on the daily public strategy. I know that there is no association included in the functioning of any association. And the, the course of the paper presentation, sir, we are looking at how to strategize to recover these debts. One of the things that I want to suggest that uh, which is actually affecting the branches is the dichotomy in the entry points of ICANN and ANA, as we have it in French in the two service uh, handouts. We are behind a lot of rumors 
that well, that you should have been looking into an internal of the subject, but that aspect has not been formed yet from the civil service regulation that we all have at this, uh, that is in circulation. So I really want to appeal, sir, at the national headquarters, let us, I mean, we should do all that is humanly possible to ensure that that aspect is corrected in the civil service commission uh, regulation. If need, we discover that if we have this one, no, sir, many of the branches, sir, many of our members sir, will actually come up like you have said, sir, that many people they think that just update something for them to have uh, the promotion. They are they, they, they are not being fulfilled to that cross. So I want the uh, help of that to please help us look at this one, sir. You see that people come out. Okay. Uh, please introduce yourself properly, name, state, and numbers. Body. Go ahead, go ahead. My name is Paul Fonime, the Secretary of Appointment Set Branch. Mine is not a question, but also a contribution. There is an aspect of our wealth which we have not identified in the paper, and that is for those of our students who have completed studies at the college several years ago and who have not yet been inducted. I'd like to very humbly suggest that there should be a signing to between headquarters and the college to be able to ascertain students who have completed their program but who have not yet been inducted. Such students where they are identified would be able to boost our membership and also raise revenue for the association. Thank you very much. Second General City Wine Abuja. Sir, um, a while ago it was announced that Abuja has the highest debtors. Is it possible, sir, for the branches to have the names? Of members and their amounts they are going for ease of follow up. <laughs> Sorry, please, sir, gentlemen, just let me answer that quickly. At the debtors list. So immediately we finish, we distribute it to. That's before we go for lunch, we distribute it to. My name is, my name is Aisha Mbale, the branch secretary in Niger State. Uh, sorry, the branch treasurer, and I just okay. don't worry. Speak natural for don't worry. My own question is this How will the national body assist some of our retired uh, members who are still very active but they are retired? Like, because uh, what prompted this is for the issue of a waiver of uh, some uh, numbers of uh, members of. Uh, Yes, of those who are in the, uh, in the membership from 2000 and so. There are some that they are above that, but they want to be active. They want to come to uh, national uh, functions, conferences, MCPD, but they are retired. Can they also be given a kind of waiver, sorry, uh, concession, a kind of to reduce their debt or whatever, so that it should encourage them to uh, continue participating? Because definitely, even at the branch level, such people are very, very, very important. Well, I should have asked a question, but the first speaker has asked a question similar to what I had in mind. So I want to take it up to be a kind of suggestion. For all of us here who happen to be members of Imaging and Governance Committee, this retreat is purely our own. So please, the chairman of the Emergency and Governance Committee should look out for his members and let's sit and brainstorm over the outcome of this retreat. Otherwise, 
Anna shall charge our community to offset the cost of the retreat. Essentially, imagine governance. This is the whole retreat. One. Uh, thank you, Professor. Okay, you have made a very remarkable presentation. But I still feel the process of becoming a practitioner is too stringent that some intending practitioners find it difficult to obtain practicing lessons. And practicing is one aspect that moves the image of the association, expand its horizon, make it open and accessible to even the talk pushers, who may likely want to have one or two financially acceptable requirements to achieve one goal or the other. So Anna should kindly look at the protocols of becoming a practitioner. I know some people who have been trying practitioner assistant, practitioner assistant, but the practitioners in those locations are just making it that difficult for them. Anna should look into that aspect. Thank you very much for this event. Uh, good morning, distinguished colleagues. I beg to stand on the existing protocols. Uh, mine also is a way of contribution. Your name. Okay, my name. Sorry. My name is Agwe Emmanuel, Chairman FCT2. No, number. 14815. Thank you. Uh, the issue of debt recovery is a big one. And we must have a, a soft way to go by it. Otherwise, we may end up not even getting anything at all. How do we go by it, by my own uh, theory? One, we should have a good percentage reduction for those who are in that category. The association should be able to reduce or give good percentage for people to be able to pay their debt. And then, in doing this, there should be a time frame for people to respond. And having given the time frame and the percentage reduction, there should be a sanction. I am happy for Prof mentioned that. All the reviewer also mentioned that. There should be a sanction. At the point at which we are now, I think if a member or a member of this is, is the member or is asked to be the member or is the news goes up that a certain number of people will be the member because of their uh, non contribution to the association, nobody will want to toy with that. Anon has gone digital. I'm sure with percentage reduction for members, uh, time frame, and then session. The issue of debt recovery will be given adequate attention. Then the second part of my contribution way forward. From the first con um, paper that was given by Bada, uh, she talks about the, the huge debts, about over 10 billion. What's next? Of course, if we don't do something fast, the debts of 10 billion will still continue. What did I, what I come up with is this. We have interacted with several of our members. And there are certain group of members who are not in the know of activities of the branch, of, of the association. After getting the certificates of the goal. Some of these members, before they realize themselves, is when they are due for fellowship. And when they come for fellowship, a huge bill, debt, is for them. And these people we have, we have, we have uh, uh, mingled with, they said, how can they pay a debt that did not even benefit at all? So, way forward. I am thinking that since we have six geopolitical zones where we do our MC, I get a video for her now. Members from each of the zones should be identified. Then, then our MCPD materials can be given to them wherever they are. 
If it's given to them, you be your office and you receive the parcel. And then the, the branch of that particular zone should be able to follow up, ensure that you pay your MCPD uh, fee and then all the fee that is attached to it. Because if you don't do that, the awareness will not be there. Thank you for giving me that opportunity, sir. So I want to firstly uh, talk about the stringent move yeah, of yeah, 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 My yeah, name is Terry Gabriel Afiu from Oso State, chairman from Oso State, number 14764. I want to first of all talk about the stringent uh, view of one of our, uh, of our members here. Uh, sir, if Anand goes ahead to the list or if Anna goes ahead to the list member that, has, that are owing, it will be very, very difficult. Taking into consideration that the Annan member in most of the various states are struggling hard even to get to the top of their career. If we try to use this, um, this avenue by delisting or by giving them that they are, they are going to be delist, deleted, the, the fact remains that the state government almost uh, in some in some of the various states will find will use this one as a as a as a as an opportunity to to either uh, to, to either demote member or thereabout. So and it will be very difficult after payment of that debt to uh, to upgrade them again. That's number one. So, number two. Uh, is a is a matter is a form of contribution, sir. Uh, I want I want to suggest that in any other member in the, in any other activities, it should be spread that this subscription can be paid instrumentally. For example, fifty thousand naira subscription, twenty thousand naira, forty thousand naira, and the rest. This will be very easier for member to to pay, it, and the member will. And another another thing, sir. Another thing is that I want, I want to suggest that the Anand give incentive to member. For example, the area we have, in any area where we have a member only up to 10 years, an incentive can be given to such a person that if you are only up to 10 years, you can be given incentive of five years or two years, and you are going to pay within so, so period of time. If you do that, I think with that, you will be able to recover some of the debts. That's my contribution, sir. My name is Edouze Henry, registration number 9722, Sherman, Asaba Branch, Delta State. My is an observation, and I can see maybe as a question. Our, uh, one of our, the, the lecturer, second lecturer, or the presenter, made mention of uh, that, uh, uh, that the, the national will be given to ask for approval from branches. That is making branches stronger. What I want to talk about is the mechanism that they might be able to put in place to make that branches stronger, like we talked about. Because if you see, the yellow form is one of mechanism. Before anybody comes for induction, the branches chairman and secretary will sign the yellow form. But you will agree with me, I don't know if it's happening in your branch, but it do happen. There are so many people who come and inducted without the knowledge of the chairman and the secretary. I mean, don't pass through the branch, which means that mechanism is not there. Also, you can see people, I know of somebody who were inducted this year and they were a member of a committee without the knowledge of the branch. So there's no mechanism. So what I'm talking about, let that mechanism be there so that the branch will be stronger. Thank you. Please, let's make it very clear here, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, there's, there are syndicate groups. There are syndicate groups for you to express these views. What we are here is strictly questions on the world presentations. Please. Actually, if you don't have questions, if it is coming to one where there's time for you to comment, it's going to be more than one and a half hours, and it's going to be broken down into syndicate groups. Please, don't comment. Just ask your question. I making an observation on the list of debtors that was sent to Cross River State. There are more than 20 people in our list that are late. So while that debt is being calculated, it's obviously bad debt already. 
So my suggestion is that Anna headquarters write to the branches to give them the list of people that are late so that they will expunge them from that list so that we will not be anticipating monies that we will never get. That's my suggestion. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Professional uh, colleagues. I beg to stand on this. My name is Alakibayo Shiu Laiwala, SNDCD. My comment goes on uh, the branch headquarters relationship. It is before now, you, some of you will bear with me that the way people in headquarters and use branch, branch executives. It's like if you are an uh, askers. Well, yes, it's not only not of the, the changes in the secretaryship of uh, committee. When chairman comes here, you see them, they look at you, you ask them, this is your, you have come on behalf of your branch members. Some of them, so I want the headquarters to please see to this uh, issue. Mm -hmm. And then on the issue of uh, this uh, recovery, instead of incentive to say, we have, we, the branch is supposed to get some percentage of uh, when, uh, when members are inducted. I think five for that about percent to be remitted to the branches. But that has not been done for long. I mean, I don't know, maybe some of that uh, are getting it. So we are promising us about another one now. Please, we want, especially induction and fellowship. I think the headquarters should do something so that something is remitted to the state, because the state that identifies all these people. So please, when next we are meeting with the uh, president, I want you to please present this. Thank you. Good morning, all. Friday, Emmanuel Ray is my name. Membership number 18863. Secretary, Anna, Industry Branch, and Zona Secretary, South South Zone. We are observed, we are talking about uh, debt recovery for, from members. One of the major reasons why we have a high debt profile is the way the debt is being captured at the beginning of uh, each year. In the first place, to my own understanding, the debt that is owed by member is the subscription that's supposed to be debited to him at the beginning of the year. All the others are not yet owed until the year is completed before you can say this is what this person is owing. When you capture the MCPD and others that this is what this big person is owing, practitioner, this is what you are owing, you make it as a debt at the beginning of the year. You see that uh, the whole thing becomes very bogus. Even when the person sees it, in the first place, you will lose their interest. I would advise that uh, when we are capturing debts, let us take the subscription into consideration so that uh, we know that this is what uh, this person is uh, owing. The second one, my colleagues made a little mention of it, the process of assigning yellow form. They are supposed to pass through the branch. We have observed over the years that the college, I don't know when they have transformed into branches. Majority of the debt we are talking about now, these are people the branch cannot identify that the form are being signed at the college and they don't identify with the branch. How do we now collect debt from such people that you do not know? I will want the, the, the national headquarters to look into this thing and let the college know that they are only to face administration and the training of our people, not signing form for would be the team. Please, to the questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the interest because if you didn't pay attention, you won't have any, to, any questions to ask. You will not also have any contribution to make. So thank you for that attention and the interest. That means we are here for serious business. Um, sorry, some of these names, the mic was very wonderful. So I didn't pick many of the names, even the questions. There are some I didn't get. I was conferring with my chairman to pick up some of them. Um, the first one is an input, uh, and I was informed, let me not just say I'm aware, that the council is on top of it. They are taking it up. Yes. 
I was also away at the issue of Red Lamite. They didn't go to sleep with the fact that they did a letter. No. Because they succeeded in extracting a secular from them. The only problem is that it was not gazetted before the person, the approval, that gave the approval, the chairman of uh, what they call the Agricultural Service, what they retired. A new person came, you know, this idea of fellow that was not know Joseph. That was the situation. But I'm sure we'll get there. Now, the other one is the issue of synergy between headquarters and the college graduates, and the, that, that is now being repeated. This last person also touched the issue of Europhone. If you listen to my presentation, it's just like when we talk about this democracy of everything, the only thing is that we only do that one by word of mouth power to the people. Mm -hmm. And when the people want to take the power, you use something to chase them away. That is not the case with Anna. I'm certain that the president means every bit of his words. Whatever you want to do, and you don't get clearance from your branch, on your own. You're not getting it from the head office. That is that. Let, let's leave that one at that. So let us know that that is we're going forward. We are, are we going back? Going forward, we are here to chart a course. This is a plan of action. We are here to make it happen. And he has given you his word. This is what I want. My vision, my vision, you have it. So, you people can help suggest how that can be what strengthened and enforced. As to directing, he has made up his mind on that. To empower the branches, to strengthen the branches. Because in our own side, they say you cannot ask a, a child to go and get salt. And on leaving the door to the outside, you ask them to fall on the child carrying the salt. I don't know if you are getting it. <laughs> you know salt, now salt and water, once you put, you allow water to touch salt, many things will happen. Chemical reaction will start taking place, is it not? Before you know it, by the time you get to where you are going, the taste, because as red is beating it, the taste will continue to go away, is it not? And it will continue to reduce too. So if you ask a child to carry salt from here to that place, and the, the, child, the moment the child leaves, leaves the door, because you have the power to call down the rain, you call down the rain to start falling. What have you done? So he's not trading on that part, we know it. It's a man of his words. The power in the branch is not two ways about it. It's not for discussion. That one is not for... I told you, after preparing this paper, I went to him. Because I can't just come here and say, talk for talking say, like some of the recommendations. You know, I didn't have time to elaborate on some of them. And when we come to them, I'll give you one strategy, one issue that you can use. I'm coming to that right now. I'm coming to that. Because I saw it when the next one is there. This issue of debtors leaves, you have it here. Going forward. Now, the capturing of uh, the timing and so on. The other one, to me, the head office, that's why you need to collaborate with them. Working with the head office, the, the chairman of, uh, uh, the, the director of branches is here with us. Anything you want from about any member, you can easily link him. His ICT savvy, you can get him, send him a message, you get a reply. So you get in touch with him. If there is need, you get all the information right. Because once you get, get out anything that is not right, you have started failing. So confirm every detail for him. Then he can now get the, the, the necessary approval and the CEO will write or he will write, or they will write on his behalf, and it will come formally from here to the person. And you know the last one, the joker? The, 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 they were saying, if the president is even taken ahead of him, when I was talking to him, I was looking into my mind. He now told me, you know, that after serving out this notice, following the processes, taking time, patient with this, after some time, you know the next joker, which is almost a lie. He said it, not just what he said. 
that the branches will be visible and the association will enlighten their employers. First, informing them of their independence to the association. And that to me, it will be very embarrassing. The next other one is once that letter comes, it serves as a notice that something is coming. The next other one is the, the sanction, suspension as a member or whatever it is. And there will be a problem. But we cannot go to that extent. And like he said, that's why I was not eager to just push it out. No branch has any right to take that move. Must, no matter the provocation, no matter what happens, you must get clearance from the head office. Must. That one is non negotiable. Because it's, if the image, anything happening to any of our members is happening to the entire association. So we need to be calm. That one is excellent. That one is the last joker. I think, I don't know if I've addressed the questions. That's the one that I'm able to capture. If I miss out, you I'm sorry about that. Thank you very much. Give me a round of applause again, ladies and gentlemen. I told you that he's, whenever he's sleeping, he's dreaming on it. If he's walking, he's dreaming on it. And he has proved that today. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands on, together for him. Cross that. Graduation. Thank you. Uh, we're moving on to the next. And that is Syndicate Group. Uh, the chair.